hi guys happy new year so in today's video i want to talk about syphilis everything you need to know about syphilis syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection that can spread when you have anna oral or vaginal sex with an infected person it is caused by a bacteria known as treponema pallido so this bacteria gets into the body through the mouth penis the vagina and also the anus when you have anal sex right it continues to spread and it damages certain organs this can be transferred from mother to offspring during childbirth the stages of syphilis syphilis has four different stages first one is the first stage this takes place around two to twelve weeks after the infection has come into your body that is when you come in contact with an infected person or where you are infected um, with syphilis you get to the first stage during the second to twelfth week of the infection getting into your body right during this stage you develop a so-called chanka in your mouth or in your genitals it is painless and you might not even notice it because it will go on its own even if it's not treated but it doesn't mean you are free from syphilis it just means it has moved to the second stage second stage is called the secondary stage this is when the sore goes away and you start developing a rough bumpy um brushes on your body it covers the entire body including the sole of the feet and it does not itch you now start developing symptoms like fever weight loss hair loss muscle wake and fatigue well these symptoms also goes on its own and that doesn't mean you are free from syphilis it's only moved to the next stage which is the latent stage and this latent stage i call it the tertiary stage right if you do not receive any treatment during the first and second stage it will move to this next stage which is the tertiary stage and the tertiary stage you do not develop any signs and symptoms the only thing an infected person would um, notice is the flare up most of the time like from time to time and this stage can last up to 20 years and when you get to this stage you can't transfer um syphilis to your partner any longer like you just have it within yourself it can't be transferred from your body to another person's body unlike the first stage and the second stage the only thing that during this stage the heart the nerves the brain starts to damage and when treatment is not given it's now moved to the late latent stage which is the last stage for many people symptoms do not pass this stage they go on their own and for people who still uh, experience the symptoms they might be apt to notice about 20 percent of people progress to this last stage because sickness that can use up to 20 years in your body at the third stage has already gotten into some organs has already damaged some organs right at this stage there are various type of health problems that can be experienced such as dementia heart disease seizure vision problems and movement disorder we also have congenital syphilis i mentioned the other time that it can be transferred from mother to their offspring right in congenital syphilis this can cause death of baby and real fetus if proper care is not taken that is why it is essential for your healthcare provider to run sti test on you on your first prenatal visit if you have syphilis um proper treatment can be given so as to hinder you from transferring it to your child the signs and symptoms that can be noticed signs and symptoms can only be noticed at the first second stage while um starting from the third stage to the last stage it's become mild and very hard to notice symptoms are sore on genitals or skin sore throat fever rashes on the skin fatigue muscle ache weight loss and also hair loss those are the symptoms that can be noticed before it gets to the third stage and the last stage how can syphilis be prevented do not have multiple sex partners complete your treatment before having sex 
always have protected sexual intercourse let your partner know if you have syphilis or not and when you are receiving treatment make sure your partner is treated alongside you too the last point here is the solution there are various type of tests that can be run to detect if you have syphilis or not to um, consider the possible solution that can be given the test determine if you have syphilis or not and the possible stage you have at that particular point in time right and after this has been detected you now start receiving treatment drugs are being given and other things so we have various type of tests to run the first one is vdr uh, which is the venereal disease research laboratory also rp rct which is rapid plasma reagent cycle test we have the rt a abs fluorescent treponema antibody um absorption test the last test is the micro hemagglutination test for treponema pallidum i mentioned it the other time that the bacteria that causes syphilis is called treponema pallidum and in this test you can get the name treponema do you understand after this test has been done you can now begin treatment right that's all about this video please let me know your thought in the comment section let me do my next video you want to see let me know if you have anything to add in the comment section any question my comment section is open for you guys okay please 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 kindly subscribe to my channel if you've watched up to this point and you've not subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel i have a lot of educative content on here and follow me on my social media accounts the links are in the description box like this video comment and also share to family and friends this is the first video of the year after a long time i think like five four months yes after a very long time my name is one see you in my next one bye